Zootopia launched onto the box office circuit in a bigger way than even the Walt Disney Animation Studios could have hoped. While its success continues to strut, one common comparison to Zootopia's box office marvel has been the juggernaut out of the same studio, Frozen. I decided to make this video because, first off, I'm a numbers guy. But secondly, because of the common conclusion that Frozen's success is far out of any reach of Zootopia, no matter how far Judy's little arms can stretch. Many articles have put the two head to head, and all have concluded the same. Frozen beat Zootopia in the box office. Now before I move forward, I am simply a numbers guy. I'm not a professional with the box office, but I have the info to my disposal. And what I find comparing the two movies is a lot deeper than simply writing off those furry critters. Let's start by taking a close look at Frozen's box office run, where it annihilated the competition and what helped it on the road to an eventual $1.2 billion worldwide march. Looking at the numbers, the first five days of Frozen's box office life took place exclusively in Hollywood, at the El Capitan Theater for a limited release. Rounding up just over a third of a million dollars, it officially went wide open on Wednesday, November 27th, 2013. The release timetable was impeccable, rolling Frozen through not one, not two, not three, but four holidays. Frozen opened well, racking up 67 million during its first weekend. With an already strong run, Frozen exploded during the Christmas to New Year season. With an entire box office life of 34 weeks, compared to the typical animation run that averages around 20 to 24 weeks in theaters, Frozen roped up 400 million domestically and 1.2 billion worldwide. Those are some big numbers, and to the untrained eye can easily be seen as unattainable for any animation that lacks the viral effect of Let It Go that swept the world. But then, Zootopia emerged. With an opening weekend attaining 75 million, Zootopia immediately caught the attention of the masses as a potential threat to Frozen's historic run. However, it was quickly written off because of the resurgence Frozen carried later in its life. The life of these two movies, compared day to day, is why we're here. This video went live on Sunday, April 10th, 2016. The last confirmed box office numbers are from Thursday, April 7th. I've set up a chart that compares the box office results, day to day, of both movies. For starters, to eliminate any weird advantage one way or the other, let's put the early release total of Frozen into the first weekend. Therefore, the head-to-head -head comparison starts on Friday, November 29th, 2013 for Frozen, and Friday, March 4th, 2016 for Zootopia. Even with Frozen carrying an advantage of the early release, Zootopia took over the lead from Frozen on the 8th day of their runs, and posted better day-to-day -day results for the first 23 days. By day 23 of their box office lives, Zootopia held a 50 million lead over Frozen. The 24th day was the beginning of the Christmas swing for Frozen, December 22nd. Since that day, Frozen has led in day-to-day -day comparisons. However, the push for Frozen really eased off on January 6th, the 39th day of life for the movie. In comparison, this is Monday, April 11th for Zootopia. So heading into this weekend, who had the advantage? Zootopia, by four and a half million dollars. 35 days in, and Zootopia has better numbers than Frozen. It survived through Frozen's strong winter wrap-up and is still standing in the lead. Now the box office results for the weekend will come in tomorrow, and if Zootopia makes a minimum of 15 million, there is a solid chance that Zootopia's legs may carry it right along with Frozen. Having read all the articles, I was blown away at how close everything was. Now, when we look at the numbers, they can be intimidating. Zootopia currently has 281 million domestically as of Thursday, and 808 million worldwide. Frozen ended with 400 million domestically and 1.2 billion worldwide. Seems like a far shot from here, with Zootopia now entering its sixth full week and naturally slowing down. But assuming it has the same legs as a typical animation does, 
that still leaves it around for another 18 weeks. And here's the kicker. As far as worldwide goes, there's still a massive wild card, Japan. Frozen made 250 million with Japan. If Zootopia were to match that success, it not only shoves Nick and Judy past the 1 billion mark, it can easily put it a contender against Frozen's worldwide numbers, and even gives it a legitimate shot at topping the board for worldwide numbers in 2016. Time will tell if Zootopia is able to carry itself alongside the success Frozen saw. And Frozen still has two Monday holidays it went through that added a boost. But the numbers are a lot closer than one may realize. This has been a look at your box office matchup, Zootopia vs. Frozen.